how y'all doing today so as you can see got the face mask on because today's plans i want to finish off the rounds we started in the last video and then i'm going to move some of the logs around that way we can get some cutting done and then later in the day i'm going to go check trail cameras and show you all the footage so as you can see and i'm sorry if this all looks a little weird i'm recording on my phone this right here is all the rounds that need to get split today in this tripod's a little funky but i'm getting used to it so yeah we're gonna try and finish all those off uh cut up some more logs and let's get straight into it
so it took about an hour and a half to finish that load and it's it's significantly bigger than what it was everything is off the ground and as you can see i don't have too many logs left but i have a plan for that so now we're gonna go ahead i'm gonna take a lunch break real quick go and grab my chainsaw we'll start cutting on what i feel like cutting i mean probably cut a tank or two worth of gas so it's about i get about a face cord maybe a little over per gas tank on my ms391 so i think it's 391 i'll have to check that or someone could correct me in the video when they see it but yeah we'll start cutting here in a minute uh probably won't cut too much because that bin's already full and I already have some deliveries I gotta get to this week so yeah we'll get to cutting here in a minute after my lunch break and then we'll go check some trail cameras so stay tuned so we're in a little bit of a different environment right now I uh, forgot to record me cutting rounds so there's a little bit done not much but I realized it was getting dark soon so I decided Go ahead, get the cameras so you guys will be seeing that footage of what's on there in a minute. But, yeah, just want to apologize about y'all not seeing me cut. Um, I did realize that where, because this is my first time getting a log truck load bought and dropped off. I realized where they dropped it off. It wasn't, it's not where I wanted it initially. I wanted it in the pasture that's all currently tore up because of putting new water lines in and all that so and i came to the realization that i never planned for it to go in that spot so i never elevated them logs so i'm currently hitting the ground so one of these next videos we're gonna think of a plan to get them logs elevated so that way it's easier to buck up none of them rot you know just try and make the job as easy on me as possible so, yeah, I just want to keep you up to date as to why you didn't see me cutting any rounds or anything. But yeah, I just got the cameras, and I'm looking around. There's so many tracks around from bobcat, deer, to questionable animals. <laughs> so, yeah, stay tuned. I'll show you guys what's on the camera. So, we had a total of almost 500 pictures on the two trail cameras I have set up so I don't want to ruin any surprises it's all the same deer I've seen before I mean months ago there used to be two 10 points and a big nine point only one of them has made a return <clears throat> there used to be a eight point he hasn't been back but there's a decent size six there's an 11 and the spike so i'll just go ahead and show you guys what we got real quick so i already went through a bunch of the videos i probably won't play too many of them but there's the big 11 we've got it's definitely the biggest deer i have ever seen in my life but over the course of the past month he's been coming around, I have not seen him in shooting light, so. And he's been on here, I probably in total have close to 5,000 pictures of him, or 8,000, not 5,000, my bad. I was looking at the time down there. But yeah. So we've got him, we've got the six point. I typically save all the videos of multiple deer, like here. And that's him chilling with the six point. I haven't watched all these videos because like I said, there's 500. So I just took a look at what was at the beginning and didn't think much else of it. And there's a little spike and there's a few of them 
Let's watch this one. I haven't watched this. Looks like some pre rut action. I know later you see the, uh, I believe it's a nine point comes through and starts getting rowdy. Not exactly rowdy with any other deer, but. Oh, I thought it showed, yeah, it shows another deer there, but didn't see him in the video. Yeah, there's that six point, the 11. I haven't seen these two butt any heads yet. Or there was a video earlier this month where they played around, but. I don't know if I still have that video. I just had to clear up a bunch of space. Sorry, I'm just trying to relax my hand a bit. <laughs> but yeah, he comes around every other day, every day. But you never see him in shooting light. But as you can see, it comes around a lot. Sorry if you hear everyone stomping around upstairs. That's my wife and kids. Oh, looks like he's putting his head down towards him a little bit. <laughs> yeah, that's not going to work the way you think, little fella. Um, but yeah, basically he comes around a lot. I'm trying to find another video i seen earlier. These are just does and some babies. They're showing up at night a lot and early in the morning. Now we get to some of the other videos. It looks like I forgot to delete a bunch of them, but oh well. Yep, yeah, there he is again. We used to have a 10 point I called the camera whore, but he hasn't been back in a while. Pretty sure someone got him. And that's, I believe, the one of the 10 points, or the 9. Yeah, it looks like the 9 point. He's in here a few times, as you can see. Marking his territory real quick. And it's funny enough, the past couple times I went out to my tree stand, which is right behind these cameras, I uh, keep hearing deer rubbing on trees and everything, but I haven't seen any of the rubs, but I hear them close by, and I'm wondering which one of these bucks it is. I'm assuming it's this little fella here. But, oh yeah, this is funny, just practicing for when they get big. It's always nice watching these videos to see how their habits change and just how they're doing in general. I like just keeping an eye on them. That was weird. 
be it. That is everything on the cameras. I'm sorry I'm in my basement, but I don't think my uh, wife and kids are exactly wanting to be on camera. It's hard enough for me to do it. So uh, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you. I'll probably do a video a week, so I'll see you next week. Have a good one.